The Democratic Youth Federation of India activists on Thursday allegedly attacked youth congress workers who entered the hall of the meeting organized by DYFI to explain the state government's proposed silver line project. The meeting was at the Dinesh Auditorium in Karnur and a group of youth congress workers entered into the meeting hall raising slogans. <laughs> Youth Congress State Vice President Rigel Makuti and Kanur Youth Congress District President Sudeep James were in charge of the attack. Police who was present at the location removed Youth Congress workers from the spot. The semi-high speed rail project which is known as the Silver Line project aims to connect Kasaragod in the north to Tiruvananthapuram in the south. It was started by the Pinarayi Vijayan government during its second year. The project is expected to cost rupees 63,941 crore and will have to acquire 1,383 hectares of land including for rehabilitation. Of this 1,198 hectares is private and the cost for acquiring this land is rupees 13,362.32 crore. The Kerala Infrastructure Investment Fund Board has set aside a total amount of rupees 2,100 crore for land acquisition. The central government has given permission to the state government to proceed with the land acquisition and the railway board has approved the project in principle. Chief Minister informed earlier. News desk, Kamdi Global.